And now for something completely different. Well, what are you talking about, Kurt? <laughs> this guy, this guy's as gracious a host as freaking Aphrodite in the Greek Odyssey. <laughs> no, he is not. Fuck this fight. This fight fucking blows. Jesus Christ! Please note, I came into this fight with three fucking fairies. I will use two of them. <laughs> One. <laughs> You're short on magic! <laughs> You're both in <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is this madness? I fucking hate this fight. You gotta kiss you in the ball. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> There. Skullmoth is down. <laughs> Fuck that fight. The whole reason that that fight is a bitch is because you don't have enough magic power to kill him with your fire rod unless unless you do some pretty significant sequence breaking. You have to deal with the conveyor belts for the entire fucking fight and their slowdown and you ha and if your and if your charge up spin attack hits one of the hits one of the uh, spike balls, then it just uh, delete depletes your charge. I don't care about the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm. Skullmoth is the worst boss in the entire game. So you think I want to hear a story right now? I want to hear about how much dinner you're going to make me later. <laughs> I saved you. God damn it. <laughs> yes, I understand that I will need to rescue Zelda. Yeesh. I misheard the part about there being no turkey after this. Could you repeat that, please? <laughs> Alright, so with that, we have successfully cleared Skull Woods by clearing about half the damn dungeon. We just cleared the Skull Woods, but we're going back inside. <laughs> well, we have to, because we can't, uh, because since we don't actually have the flu, or, uh, the flu unlocked yet, we can't actually, you know, just warp around yet. And I think, no, next, uh, uh, next thing that we're doing is, uh... Yeah, next thing that we're doing is we're going into a Thieves' Town. Thieves' Town's actually a pretty nice dungeon, honestly. It's a bit difficult, but only because of the enemy encounters that are there. There's nothing too puzzly about it. It's a clubhouse. This is just a fuck you house. Mm. Okay, and Here's we the other are entrance into out. Skullwoods. No, wait, that's the first entrance into Skullwoods. Yeah. The first entrance, second entrance. We are never going back there, ever. Yeah, we. There's no reason for us to ever go to, to ever go back to Skull Woods. Sure, we're missing the compass to Skull Woods, but fuck Skull Woods, no. No, instead we should just go into Pitchfork Town. Nah. Fuck yeah! And welcome to Thieves Town. I actually like this dungeon. I'm, again, as I've already mentioned, this dungeon is a bit more is a bit uh, is a bit difficult. But aside from but its difficulty is mostly from its uh, enemy encounters, as opposed to any, uh, as opposed to anything uh, uh, puzzly or confusing. Like this this uh, corner of four <laughs> rooms is like a third of the dungeon, to be perfectly honest. And you get you get it's the map, dungeon. the big key, and the compass all all in here. So. Kind of, kind of similar in the labyrinthian nature of Skullwoods. Thieves Town is not a big dungeon, but it's confusing. The pathways are kind of not specific, really. I, I've and never lost everything is clustered really close to each other. Everything is clustered, and I actually really well, like that about it. To be perfectly honest. Oh, oh, uh, Fireball Man has wait. <laughs> he spit off fire. <laughs> mm. Yes. He's red with that fury. I'm gonna throw down and slam into the ground. What I'm attempting to do here is make sure that I get all the treasure chests in this area, which you ha you don't have to get all the treasure chests in here. In fact, the only treasure chest that you need to get in this area is the one that's got the big key in it. <laughs> yeah, but that one is uh, in is two rooms away from here, so. 
Well, let's talk dungeon feel for a second. Skullwoods taught you very early on that you have to keep moving in order to avoid the wall masters because there are wall masters in every fucking room. Thieves Town is more like we're gonna lure you into a false sense of security so you'll be standing still and our thieves are gonna pickpocket you. Yeah. Lost your money. There's the compass. Ouch. Uh, bu bunny attack! Yes. No. I think that Link actually has a faster walk cycle while he's uh, while he's in his um his dark world look, but you know that's about it. He hips, he hops. And unfortunately, the uh, the dark world spells uh, rejuvenate every time you leave the room. So that it's a small <laughs> annoyance, but it's not really that big a deal. It's not a big deal, and it I, you know what? The more times the player has to see cute, adorable bunny Link, the the better the game experience. Not entirely sure about he's better pink, game He's a pink but, rabbit. You know, uh, but slightly more varied. Right, be better if you like pink fluffy rabbits. Now, if you don't like pink fluffy rabbits, then fuck you. <laughs> mm, there's him down. We need to go up top here to get the small key, which is on the other pot. There. And now we can continue. Well, why the is there a direction. small key behind the big door? <laughs> uh, well, because the the big key doesn't actually open up any of the small key locks. It's honestly one of the uh, one of the things that Ocarina of Time gets slightly uh, more right uh, uh, com in comparison to Link of the Past. That the big key only opens the boss door at the end of the dungeon. Um, that. Uh, that there, there. I'm pretty sure once you get the big key in Ocarina of Time, uh, it will actually op It will either open all of the small, all small locks that are uh, after, or there are no small locks after it. One of the two. Pro probably, probably the latter, because I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I am positive that the big key is not a skeleton key for the dungeon. Okay. The big key actually is probably one of the is by and large way more useless than the small keys because the small keys can open any door or any um door, but the big key can only uh, open the boss door. I, I'm not entirely sure about that because the big key also opens the big chest, and the big chest usually has a pretty kick-ass item in it. No, no, no. The big chest. The bit. The big. Uh, there's a big item chest and there's a big key chest. In in Ocarina of Time, that is. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so a conspicuous ray of light over a crumbled floor. Boom. Now, I will admit that if this is your first time through Link to the Past, it's not obvious to do that. However, if you talk to the if you talk to the residents of these town, then they will they will actually uh, uh, give you uh, give you that hint. Or it's either uh, the, it's either on the residents of these town or Sahasrila uh, while you're going through the dungeon. I remember. Actually, I that, think it is uh, in, uh I remember that uh, in uh, Link Between uh, Link Between Worlds, it's actually the residents of these town that tell you to do that. And I think that Sahasrila actually was going to tell you that if you had access to that tap. Oop, nope, first death. So if you access that tablet on the no, floor above, the which was on the left. So if you access the tablet on the left on the floor above, which you need to set the crystal up for apparently, then you would be able to talk to him, get the hand. But still, like, a, a prudent player would observe that is a very strange thing to see a ray of light over a crumble floor because, well, the first thing you think is throw a bomb at it, and the second thing is, well, what if I do throw a bomb at it? I can't go over there. Oh, the light. Maybe the light will go down there. Just maybe. Stupid Dragonites. Uh, these are not, these are not dragons. These are, uh, these are, uh, mostly, uh, uh, moblins. I mean, these are not actually moblins because moblins, I think, are the ones that take over the uh, soldiers' positions in Light World, but they're effectively moblins. I'm trying to think. They are Kremlins. You know what? That might be what they're actually called. I I'm not entirely sure though. Da 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 da. 
dun, 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 I apologize dun, dun. for the pause there. I don't know why I paused there. Mm, no, okay, so now every time one of the one of those characters comes on stream, I'm gonna start recycling themes from Donkey Kong Country 2. If you haven't seen our Donkey Kong Country through playthrough, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh come on, that's a really old playthrough at this point. It's I I like I like that playthrough. That was that was a good playthrough of ours. Mind you, I I should have tried to show off all, actually everything in it, but I'm not skilled enough at Donkey Kong Country 2 to do that. Well, that means we maintain on our premise. It's not a 100% run. <laughs> I mean, I want to do 100% runs for games. It's just that I'm not I'm not usually good enough at the games that I pick out to uh, to do 100% runs for. 100% runs example, just I'm, take forever. <laughs> uh, for plat for action platformers, that's certainly the case. But um, on certain uh, certain action RPGs, a 100% run is that are, are actually you know. Faster than uh, than any percent runs. Well, any percent runs of platformers, at least. So would I be the only one who was confused chest. that you... That was the big key that you used to open all those cell doors, right? Yep. Interesting. See, that that's kind of weird. I might look at that it's like, well, weird, fuck, but what do I do now? Uh, it's weird, but it's not it's not unexpected because that's how we uh, that's how we rescued Zelda uh, originally We had to use the big key and booyah the Titans met now. We can lift up dark boulders. Oh, yeah, you're right Okay, so I hope that we have recalled lessons from approximately five to six hours prior to this moment in our game experience <laughs> three 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 hours <sighs> And it only takes three seconds to forget something uh, less if you're really bad at it. I mean, mind you, I did use a guide to get through pretty much all this game. You have, you have no excuse to not know that you can't go through those cell doors. No, <laughs> press the alternating button. Alternating switch. The back to the boss run. There. Oh, now, thank uh, you. Now, uh, oddly enough, that there doesn't actually... Uh, you do need the big key in order to progress through Thieves Town, but mostly to get in uh, to get into uh, the, the majority of the dungeon. Hi, Too blind. Hi. This is blind I the thief. want to hug you. Uh, blind the thief. This fight is significantly easier uh, than I make it look, but um, I am terrible at this fight. <laughs> I don't actually hate this fight oh, as gosh. much as Skullmoth, though, especially because I've got the mid shield, which protects me from fireballs. You know the problem with Skullmoth is that he doesn't have a fun he doesn't have a fun Sesame Street face like this guy. This guy looks like a red faced count. Actually the problem with Skullmoth is, is the arena that you have to fight him in. Because um, if it weren't Ooh. for the conveyor belts, Ooh, the Skullmoth fight would actually be pretty damn fun. Jesus. Fuck conveyor belts, that was getting clusterfucky. Three! Yes, yeah, so it gets clusterfucky, but only at the tail uh, end. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, and with that, we have successfully slain Blind the Thief and gotten our fourth uh, maiden rescued. Only three th more to go, Mr. Cloud. Yes. Only three. More exposition. There they be. They are all just as beautiful as she. You are welcome, random woman. <laughs> I heard that the Knights of Hyrule were nearly wiped out in that battle. You are perhaps the last one to carry on the bloodline of the Knights. It is ironic that the last one in the line has the potential to become the hero of legend. Surely you can destroy Ganon. It's not irony, it's fate. The Legend of Zelda is all about fate and the manipulation of the goddesses. Eh. <laughs> 